The fourth beta of iOS 9.3 has just been released to developers to test a handful of new features, along with a couple of bug fixes. iOS 9.3 isn't a huge overhaul of graphics and features, but it polishes off what is already a solid operating system. So I'm going to quickly show you what Beta 4 and iOS 9.3 has to offer. Let's get started. The release notes for iOS 9.3 Beta 4 mention some minor known issues with Apple Watch, Safari, Dictionary, and Apple ID. But in terms of changes that you can actually see, there's only a couple. Firstly, a slight change is for night shift mode. It reduces the blue light emitted from your iPhone's display, which studies have shown can cause things like insomnia, replacing the colours with a slightly warmer tone, helping you relax before you sleep. In Beta 4, they've changed the icon within the control centre, where you can quickly switch your iPhone into night shift mode, changing the icon from an eye to this half-eclipsed sun, which does make more sense, and we have the option to turn on for now, or turn on until tomorrow. There's also some quick options for the settings app, with the use of 3D Touch for all you 6S and 6S Plus users, which I can't test as I've installed the beta onto my 6 Plus. And if you use Apple Music, there's a new star icon to display which tracks are new. These additions join more 3D Touch options for almost every third-party app, including weather, the clock, and the App Store, which they should have had from launch anyway. There's also the option to password protect your notes using a passcode or touch ID and finally some updates for the news app. iOS 9.3 is rumoured to be launched to the public for March's iPhone 5 SE and iPad Air 3 event. But if you'd like to see a full tour of all of the tweaks iOS 9.3 has to offer, let me know in the comments down below. Also, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss updates on the betas for watchOS and El Capitan. Until next time, I'm Steve Smith for Cult of Mac and I'll see you in the next video.